Uh, this is our pipe maker, Richard Sanders. Um, we're taking off the blocks, called de-blocking, um, the resonators of the swell horn for Portsea. Um, the scale is wrong. Uh, they were added in, uh, in the 60s by walkers. Um, so they, they take the scale down very quickly. But they also added harmonic trebles, which we're taking off. So we're going to make new resonators. This is the process of getting them off. So we heat up the block, solder melts, and, and there we go. The resonator comes off. So we'll show you one more. You can also see the state that these are originally. This pipe here was a B, as you can see. Then Walker changed it to C, rescaled it. Uh, we've done some experiments uh, where we put some masking tape over, covered up the slots. There's a little regulation slot here as well, which is actually original. Um, and the tone of this horn has now come back to how it was. Bottom C here, as you can see, was added again in the 60s. That's being discarded. So I'll show you once again. These are the ones that have been de-blocked. These are the harmonic trebles here, which are going to be taken off. And this is the last one to have the block taken off it. There we go. And that's that done. Uh, the base um, blocks here um, are actually original. Um, but, so you can see it's been inked in C sharp. And actually, that was actually bottom C. So we're returning those back. The shallots over here. Now we found, uh, as we went through the shallots, that um, treble C shallot was missing. So we've got B here, C sharp, and then <clears throat> there was another one put in the top, the top F, which were actually taken away, which didn't match at all. So we're going to make a new shallot for treble C to put it in here. Um, otherwise, these shallots have remained as original. The weighting on the tongs, however, is not original. That will be taken off, and then we will um, experiment with the appropriate amount of weight once we get them onto the voicing machine. There we go. Thanks, Richard. Okay. So, we're going to follow the, the process of blocking in a reed. And this is for the, the swell horn for Portsea which we have put new resonators on at the correct scale. 1965 Walkers put on a totally inappropriate scale um, to try and make it sound a bit more like a trumpet, I suppose. Um, so these are the old pipes here that were taken off in 1965 next to the rest of the uh, original Walker rank. There's a zinc resonator here. There's a, there's a, there's a, a zinc resonator here that uh, we've taken off. They rescale the whole the whole rank by a note. So we've taken it back to the note to the uh, scale that it originally was. You can see here we've got C C sharp and underneath it says C horn. I know it's upside down, but um, so the process now is that we we've got the original block and we've made a new resonator. So we we put the seam straight so it's opposite the reed spring. Then drop a little bit of solder into the little well there that you can see. And then once that's tacked on, um, then the next thing is is that we can check that it's actually straight. Once it's straight, which it is, that goes back in. This is a neat little machine that means that you can hold the reed straight and then turn it round as a solder drops into the little well there. The red material that you can see is called size, uh, which is a mixture of gum, Arabic and various bits of bobs of other things that um, mean that the solder only goes into the place that you want it to go. So that little well gets filled up. Then once it's full, the iron goes back on the heat. You must have plenty of heat and the right heat as well. Um, and so we put some more fat or flux as it is, which helps the solder run. And the next process is to just make sure that it's a nice neat seam there's no gaps, otherwise the reed won't speak properly. Um, but it's a nice, even join. So the next process really is just to wash it off, and then that's our reed blocked in, so it's just a bucket of soapy water, just to get the fat off, uh, and to get the size off as well. And that'll just be rubbed down. And then afterwards it will be buffed up with a leather cloth. 
um, and then the whole assembly will be put back together. So these are some that have already been, been done. This is the new Tenor B, as you can see here, um, which originally, um, with the 1965 work, was actually A-sharp, um, so they moved everything around. So there we go, that's the process of blocking in a reed.